Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Today we're gonna have a little surprise for everyone out there. I told you I was gonna do it before and I'm actually going to do it and or reveal it. I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna be talking about what I'm gonna be buying this week. There's a lot of really good stuff that I'm gonna be buying because I think that the prices are low. First thing for me is going to be giant sized X-Men number one on Vivi. The price is really low. I think it's going to go higher. A lot of the comics that Vivi has been releasing as of late have very low edition size. Sizes, and I think this is only going to help the platform in the long run as these will be the rarest comics uh, actually floating around out there. Uh, there's, uh, I don't have the metrics, and maybe if I find them, they'll pop up on the screen. If not, I can't find them. Uh, where people are showing on Twitter that there are more people now entering the app every single day. There's constantly more new users and more people who are buying up the collectibles and also the comics. There's also a whole bunch of a uh, rollout of new features, the master collection points and the, I think the transferring of stuff and KYC is getting easier, you name it, is always something new that's actually popping up. So a lot of new people are entering the app. The amount of additions of comics uh, and also collectibles continues to de decline quite rapidly. Uh, more and more every single day. Sometimes I look at the app, sometimes you know, or on my computer, and I'm actually always quite shocked at how much is constantly being bought up, but like the floor kind of always remains the same. So, as it appears that we are on the beginning of the cusp of the return of the cryptocurrency bull market and maybe potentially the subsequent return of the stock market moving back up as well, all assets will rally, if you will, at the exact same time. Uh, where we currently are in the cryptocurrency space, uh, we are at the normal historic pattern that makes sense of when the cryptocurrency market ends up moving back up. It is expected as next year's 2024. The Bitcoin price will also continue to rise as well because of the Bitcoin halving in 2025 usually ends up being the like the bull run. This is why 2021 was so crazy. In 2017, it happens every four years. Just letting you know exactly what's going on and why I'm accumulating. I, I don't know why I keep doing really weird things. Uh, why I'm accumulating so much. My goal for giant size X-Men number one is to at least have about 20 to 30 of them. That's kind of the idea. I don't know how many I have right now. Maybe like five, six, seven, somewhere around there. I don't remember. I remember clicking buy a lot, but then I kind of black out and then I forget how many that I have. Anyway, the number one thing is Giant Size X-Men number one. It's a gigantic comic. It is the first appearance of Colossus, of Storm, of Nightcrawler, and two other characters who you're probably never ever gonna hear about again because they're, they just didn't end up being that popular. Number two on the list is Tales to Astonish? Tales to Astonish, pretty sure. Number 39, the first appearance of Iron Man. Low edition count, uh, historic character. The prices for the uncommons for some reason is always a lot lower than the common. I think it's because the common cover uh, usually is like the well-known iconic one. And then the uncommon one tends to be in black and white. So I think people go, oh, it doesn't have any color. I don't like it as much. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of the mindset that people have for it. But I also collect a lot of uncommons because mathematically, uh, if VV does take off, uh, people will look at numbers more than like uh, covers, if you will. So uh, we know that the, there are less uncommons than there are commons. So one is rarer than the other. Um, pretty big comic, has been for a while. This was, the, this was one of the comics that I told you when I was a kid uh, that no one wanted. Like it was just completely, uh, you stayed away from it because Iron Man wasn't a popular character. They figured out a way to make him really popular in the uh, movies and then the comic book ended up taking off subsequently after. So uh, I will be buying a lot of these. I want to buy a secret rare, but I last I checked, wasn't it like a thousand dollars plus or something like that? So probably not gonna happen to my bank account anytime soon. But the commons and the uncommons, I don't remember what the rare cover looks like. I don't remember. I'll be buying them regardless. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yep, Tales to Astonish, T Tales, of, Tales of Suspense, not Tales to Astonish, that's another comic book altogether. Number 39, uh, first Iron Man. Number three is Marvel Comics number one. I don't think I need to explain why I'm buying if you've watched even one of these other videos before. Uh, first appearance of, so it was from a company called Timely, but it says Marvel on it. The company ended up changing their name from Timely to Marvel, so it is Marvel Comics number one, therefore the first appearance of Marvel characters out there. The first uh, circulated 
appearance of uh, the Human Torch and also the Submariner. It is by far one of my favorite comics on the entire planet. I had a hope, a wish, and a dream a thousand years ago of being able to actually buy one, but the prices on these, even in like low grade, is like $150,000, so I'm not, I'd rather, I would literally rather buy an apartment. I would just throw that out there. There's probably, if I had the chance uh, to buy a Marvel Comics number one or an apartment that was getting me rent, like as you know, I'd probably choose the apartment. But uh, for the VV Comics, they are still pretty low in price, at least from what I've been seeing. And we know that historically, uh, when there were a lot more on the app, they got to several hundred dollars across all rarities. I think the I think the rare got to like $1,400 and the ultra rare was, I think, two, 3,000? I think that's what it was. And then the secret rare, that was 20,000 plus, unless I'm going completely insane and not remembering numbers correctly. So I will keep buying these until there are no more on the app. Uh, if VV does take off, if NFTs continue to become a thing and rise in popularity as they have been doing for the last couple of years at this point, uh, this will be a major comic that tons of people will want to have. Uh, and as a lot of collectors continue to buy them, there will not be a lot for sale. Like, for instance, I think I have like 20 or 30 of them. I think that's a number. Um, if the price goes completely insane, like for the comments, I'll probably sell two or three. But I'd probably also keep the rest of them like in a vault somewhere or, you know, what have you. So, yeah. That's the number three comic, without a doubt. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be buying these as long as people continue to undervalue them. So, to the big shebang. Number four, uh, remember a couple of, this was months ago, maybe even like the beginning of winter. I was telling you that there is a comic book that I, I don't know why, I can't give you a reason why. Like, it's something from my childhood, I must have seen it, I must have had Burger King that day and like associated them with, with happiness. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, but this comic was finally released on Vivi and I didn't know how to react because I didn't expect them to ever actually release this on the, oh, like not anytime soon, especially as uh, this character was just in a movie a couple of months ago. It is Fantastic Four, number four, the first appearance of the Submariner. It is impossible for me to explain to you why, I like the Submariner, or Namor, or Namor, depending on how you want to say his name. This is part of the reason why I also buy tons of uh, Marvel Comics number one, as that is his like first, first, first appearance. So there were a lot of comic book characters that were made in the 1940s uh, by Marvel, and uh, what ended up happening was is that after, basically, uh, WW2 ended, um, they kind of, they didn't trash the characters, but they kind of, threw them away, they were no longer really needed. It was always Submariner and Captain America like uh, fighting ships in the 1940s, you know what they were doing. Uh, but when that event was over, uh, they kind of, the characters kind of disappeared. This is why you have, um, uh, I think it's Avengers number four, is the first um, Silver Age appearance, 1960s appearance of Captain America since the 1940s. Same exact thing with this one. It is the first appearance of the Submariner in the 1960s because people were like, should we bring back those characters? Because they had completely disappeared. So when I saw, this was always, so I am a comic book collector, for those of you who missed that, uh, physical and digital. I have this comic in Spanish, in Italian, in German, and there's one other language that I also have it in as well. I collect them in mass, like I, I love it so much and I can't really explain why. Long, long story short, this is the comic I was telling you about before that I said when this is finally at some point released on Vivi, I was expecting three to five years. Like legitimately, I thought this would never launch on the app. I had said I would tell you that I'd be, you know, I would explain what it was and that how much I liked it and you know, whatever. Um, I will be buying every single rarity of this comic. I tend to normally stick to the commons, uncommons. I'll get a rare and maybe an ultra rare if I know that the comic is like actually kind of big. I will be buying every rarity. I will be trying to buy multiple of every rarity. I believe the edition size on this is 7,500, which is absolutely nothing. That's barely anything. Um, I am going to 
own more than 1% of the entire run. 7,500, 750, yes, if I own more than 75 of these, I will have more than 1% of the run and I am going to. I, this is, this is a, a warning, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure uh, what exactly, but just understand that this is, you know, I'm gonna be hoarding a lot of these probably forever, I, yeah. Besides this comic, and, I, and I'll show you the covers of the other one, because I don't, not that I don't think that VV's ever gonna do it, but it's, it's kind of like one of those, I don't think that they'll be able to put them on the app for some reason. Uh, one is, it's, it's an Amazing Spider-Man cover. I, ah, it's Amazing Spider-Man number four, J. Scott Campbell, Black Cat variant. You don't understand. This is, when I talk about like near perfection for a cover, it's absolutely incredible. I love, if they ever, and, and, and I say, I don't know if they'll get like, or be able to, is because these fall under the license of a very famous artist called J. Scott Campbell. And I don't know if he's willing to allow his stuff to be able to like be put on the app. There's the black cat cover, and there's the black cat cover with a pink background. Uh, love it. I, I, there's, there's not, I mean, these comics also came out in other languages. So like these are, these are modern comics, so these aren't like the 1960s and stuff. These, these came out mid 2010s and stuff like that. Uh, I also own them in multiple different languages. I've, there's one language I think I have, uh, German or Spanish, I don't remember. But I have like 30 to 50 of each of those covers, like of the ones that I just showed you, uh, but in that language. Love it. If they ever bring, I mean, I mean you, you don't understand. If they ever bring that, and only one of them is actually like significant, it's the black cat cover of uh, Amazing uh, Spider-Man number four, the first appearance of Silk. For those of you who don't know, uh, the storyline is, there's a woman who was bit a couple of seconds by a spider, the same exact spider that bit Peter Parker, uh, and she ends up becoming like a new spider woman. She's also quite popular in the comics as well. Her name, her name is literally Silk. Amazing Spider-Man number four, first appearance of uh, Silk, and the other like Holy Grail cover that I don't think they're ever going to release because it has no like real significance outside of the cover. I'm letting you guys know everything. Is, um, I think it's Captain Marvel 14 second print. I think that's what it is. Uh, it's basically, um, there was the first printing of the comic book uh, that sold out and people wanted more. And before we knew that Kamala Khan was even going to be a character and was going to be Miss Marvel, uh, this comic cover got printed and it had such a low print count that by itself, like even ungraded itself for thousands. I had three of them a long time ago and I sold them for a pretty fair, uh, um, you know, uh, amount, what have you, uh, but I missed them and I want them back really bad. But once again, it, it would make no sense for Vivi to ever print this cover. It doesn't make any sense in like, even from like a comic book story or like anything Kamala Khan, it would be more like, I'd be, I'd be devastated. If that cover got printed as a secret rare, Devastated because I know it would go for hundreds and I'd sit there and be like mm, that's a lot of money Anyway, yeah kind of got off tangent there But I thought I'd uh, just let all of you know my favorite cover in the entire world has finally been printed uh, On Vivi and I would love to see the J. Scott Campbell black cat variants Will it happen? Maybe in like six seven years. I try not to get my hopes up So I make sure that stuff is like really far away in the future, but I got my two favorite comics in the entire three Three, all three of them already on Vivi. Marvel Comics number one, Fantastic Four number four, and Ultimate Fallout number four. Like anything else that Vivi puts out there is just like icing on top of the cake. I, I, I want nothing else from the app at this point. I got every single comic that I wanted. Yeah, just a heads up, I will be buying a ton of the Fantastic Four ones because I, I love it. I wish I could give you an answer. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. Hope you all are having a great day, great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. Why am I moving? Wherever you are, wherever you might be, I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting, and I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.